Montreal. I'm in the six fight. I'm picking Jamal. Okay. But I knock out with 26 and 8. Really? Yes, sir. How about that? Yes, sir. So, uh, we'll see. And obviously, you can't right, fight then. At all, you can't take a fight until the winner of this one, correct? I'm, that's that's correct. But I'm in the gym every day, and I'm working extremely hard, and I'm waiting for my moment. This one, it's coming real soon. If Jamal wins tonight, he's undefeated. I'm undefeated. That's what boxing is all about. Jamal, Jamal, Julian, Julius, Trout. All sound good, but the real hype and the real talk will be about your man right here. My time will come. I'm coming at you. You got me. Oh boy. Got the finest grace from England. No. Jamel, Jamel, Julian, Julius, Swift, baby. June 25th. Lena versus her. Back at it again, man. Back on the big screen. That's 154 pounds right now on my television. I'm watching. They, they're looking all right. Yeah. You know, look to the world. Get, get a chance of me. I mean, I love it. Just like these pineapples. You know what I'm saying? Coming. June the 25th. Successful year. Successful fight. Let's do it. Showtime tonight. CBS. On your way. We are the best. With our using that range to... finding tapping left jab, they not really throw it, just putting it out. Welcome to my crib. Swift Jerry heard. Into the storm. Oh hey, Justin! <laughs> y'all wanna do? Wanna be ballers, shot callers, brawlers, who be dipping in the bins with the spoilers, on the low from the Jake and the Taurus, trying to get my hands on some grants like Horace, yeah, living the raw deal, three course meals, spaghetti, fettuccine and veal, but still, everything's real in the field, and what you can't have now, leave when you will, but don't knock me for trying to bury it, seven zeros, over in Rio de Janeiro, ain't Nobody's hero, but I want to be heard on your hot 97 every day. That's my word. Swimming in women with their own condominiums. Five plus fives who drop millenniums. It's all about the Benjamins. What? I get a 50 pound bag of food for the mutts. Five carrots on my hands with the cuts. And something I want to be out with the clutch. Drink it more liquor. Driving a bro bigger. I'm with more zippers. Watch my gold diggers. Rocking bizarre denims with gold zippers. No show time. We kept owls, popping crystals, freaking the three quarter reptiles, enormous cream, forest green, it's 55 seconds ago. You show him love, man. Hey, man, good to hear from you, bro. We not worried about that, Frank. We just want you to be successful. You know, that's in the history. That's in the past. It's time to move on. You go back to the drawing board. You get back, back on top like you were before. And then maybe we'll meet up on top again, but this time for some real money. You know what I'm saying? Just get back on the drawing board and do your thing. Swift and Hurricane Ernest stuff. You know I'm saying we get together and make bad weather. You feel me? This Saturday night, the best is fighting the best. And it's going to be right here in Brooklyn. It's going to be on CBS. 
It's the first fight on CBS in prime time since the great Muhammad Ali. They call me useless, careless, nobody The type of fighter I'm fighting, he's, uh, he's young, undefeated, uh, a prospect like myself. So, you know, I know it's going to be a tough, hard to fight, and I'm more than ready for this. There's a hole in my chest from the things that you know, I did. Oscar Lina, he's an Olympian. You know, he's, he's a crafty fighter, so we'll go out there and do just what we know what to do. We'll train hard for this fight, and we'll put a wonderful show for you. I'm a pain dealer, I'm a faith healer, I'm a soul stealer, and I'm coming for you. I'm a dream breaker, I'm a truth maker, I'm a cold blooded killer, and I'm coming for you. Listen, the New York fans already know who you are because you already knocked off one of our fighters, uh, Galarza. And you, you feel like you're going to make a big statement tomorrow night? Oh, most definitely, man. I just got to go out there and be myself, man. When I go get on that stage, I know I'll perform. So I'm pulling the show, most definitely. Let's go, Jerry. Let's go, Jerry. Let's go, Jerry. You wish you never let me in I confess that the devil's my kin I'm a brother to sin since I don't know when I won't rest till it's all done and said And I get what I get It's a beautiful lady right here who birthed me You know, I get all my talents from her You know, my father think I got it from her, but I got it from her We <laughs> here <laughs> Gonna hit him with that, and with that, this one's gonna knock him out. What was your conversations like? Uh, because it's one thing to find out you're gonna be on this card, it's another thing to then find out you're gonna be opening. You talked about getting that exposure on the show box. This is on another level, like on steroids. You want to not only win, but it's like, this is a great opportunity to look impressive. So what was that conversation like when you guys talked about going out there? This is your moment, and you finally about to see exactly who Swift your herd is. And this right here is the opportunity the world get to see what I'm truly capable of. I got the defense, the height, the size, the power, everything, I put it all in the ring. I've never been on this level. Uh, I've been learning along the way. Uh, we make mistakes and, you know, we, we make some good progress. So this is a learning experience for all of us. But along the way, we want to make sure that Jared is progress at a pace that we know he will be ready for. I mean, here we are. He's ready. And come Saturday, a uh, new kid at 154 pounds that needs to be reckoned with. say this we ain't get here for no reason you know what i'm saying we're here for a purpose everybody in this room right now everybody in this room right here this right here is team swift all right yes sir we're gonna go do this all together man. yes sir we're gonna do this all as together. a team all right i want everybody right now put your heads down i'm gonna say mm -hmm. a prayer yes, heavenly sir. father right now i want to say thank you for giving me this opportunity and blessing me with the best oh. team in the world thank you for giving me the mindset the brains the attributes and everything right. to be healthy physical when i leave the ring heavenly father Right now, I want to say, let me go out there and do the performance you know I can do. And bless, bless me with the talent that you bless me with. In the name of Jesus, we do pray, man. Amen. 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 Amen.
fighting out of the blue corner, wearing silver trunks with black and gold trim. Joining us from Akoki, Maryland. His weight 153 and 3 quarter pounds with a record of 17 wins, no losses. He has 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the undefeated Swift, Jared. Instructions in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch the keys to victory, these men, are for her no lunging. He tends to lunge in and could get hit with a counter punch. He has a great uppercut, but he can't throw it from too far out. And he has a monstrous right hand that he's used to knock people out with. Lead right hand upstairs by Molina, but a couple of oh, right uppercuts on the end. From one punch to the next on the same combination. There he's catching and shooting, meaning he's at 154. And Molina would like to get himself in that counter sleep more than we thought they might. Uh, Final 30 seconds of the fifth frame. He is knocked down as Molina was in the first round. He loses a point tonight. Oops, and everything. You can't throw everything. But more of those shots slow down. Jared Hurd, who's content again, the longer, taller fighter, content to just make life miserable on the inside by Maluda. He's here in this eighth round, so. Good counter right hand by Hurd. Oh. Now roughing up Molina on the inside. Jared Hurd continues to dictate the pace of this fight. Oh. Oh. Space to punch, but we're getting some good more Ronaldo analogy. Her backs him up with the left and the right. Very good one. The two athletes touch gloves. The tenth no, and no, no. final round. He needs to do something. He, he needs to pull the Cleveland Cavaliers and come back. Jared Hurd would like to graduate to being a top guy. These two saving the best for last year. Coming up on the final minute of the tenth and final. It's not that Molina doesn't have skill, it's that he's less skilled than her. Oh, oh. That is rich with talent. Jared Hurd makes the case that he is a prospect to watch, improving to 18 and 0 with 12 wins. Coming into the fight, I was a prospect, but um, I feel like even out now, I'm a contender. So, uh, you know, this opportunity for me, I feel like it opened a lot of doors for me. And uh, we're going to see what, hope, what the future holds for me.
Jared Hurd has maybe one of the best uppercuts in the sport, and that's a, a big statement to make for a fighter at his level, and he made that punch work. Take off, trick, take a flick of the click, hit a face, y'all. 